Back to WKYT News on the CW Lexington this 10 o'clock hour. Banking experts say there has been a 238% increase in financial cyber crimes since 2020. And Eastern Kentucky University believes it has a solution to the problem through a new course being offered. When that course is complete, students will receive a financial technology and cybercrime certificate. And according to the school, no other institution in the country has such a program. WKYT's Julia Sanders and photojournalist Darnell Crenshaw talked to one student from Estill County who believes she will be part of the solution in securing the state, the nation, and the world's financial sector. A story that's new tonight at 10. We are in a moment in time for this institution where we are going to do some big things. Those big things for EKU President Dr. David McFadden include a big million dollar donation from Commonwealth Credit Union to help fund a new course on financial technology and cybercrime. A big deal because it's the only course of its kind in the nation. To create a un the university's first interdisciplinary certificate that we believe will shape the future of financial services security and, later, and aid our law enforcement community and making sure that we protect our financial resources. Karen Harbin is the president and CEO of Commonwealth Credit Union. She says in recent years, CCU has had to increase its cybersecurity. So I can't quantify really what we um, lose, but um, we do spend a great deal of money hiring professionals to help prevent cybersecurity and protect our members. Harbin is an EKU alum, and she's looking to hire students like Stevie Neal. Neal is a junior majoring in banking and financial services. She hopes to help fill the more than 168,000 unfilled positions in financial cybersecurity. The 21-year-old is excited to be among the first group of students to help solve those financial cybercrimes. Financial institutions all around the world are losing millions and millions of dollars a year against cyber attacks. And so we need to learn how to prevent this from happening. Neil is from Estill County. She says whatever she learns from the new certification, she's going to help her family first. I think this will be very beneficial to them because my mom actually works in the finance industry and she's been very interested in this and um, I think it'll be very beneficial for her industry in particular. In Richmond, Julia Sandor, WKYT. And the new course will start next fall. Still ahead.